mafuta ndio hiyo ime Ah oh, watu wenye wanatosha uzuri Sijui huyu mtu yuko na kamote sijui hapo na nini Kenya kwanza should set a disciplinary committee so that they can investigate what Karen Nyamu has done in Dubai. Samido had a performance in Dubai. He invited first wife, second wife, and even third wife if she's there. And this is the first time Samido has invited the first wife where he's performing. While on the stage, Karen Nyamu disrupted the performance. And it was clear that for one to stage on that stage, he or she must be licensed. And the only person who had a license was Samido because he's the person who was to perform. But Kenyans, who are they? They never slept. Once the video was shown on social media, it has been trending, it has been spreading like fire. Now Karen Nyamu again has come out to ask for or to make it clear on what was happening. She's trying to hide something Kenyans, but Kenyans knows very well that uh, Karen Nyamu has everything. Na kuna kitu wameongea kwamba hataacha pombe 2023 but has acha samido. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go deep and see this clip well, just in case you're here for the first time and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly I'm requesting that you may take a moment, subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for the returning subscribers, thank you very much for coming back to support the content of this channel. As I said, once you are a new subscriber, like the video and comment so that I can recognize you in my next video. This far, it's because of you guys. You've stood with me since I started this channel and up to where I am today. I thank you all and may God keep blessing you all. Ladies and gentlemen, just in case you've not watched what Karen Nyamu did last night, just have a watch into this video as it gives us the basis of the discussion. <laughs> You can see in that video that's Karen Nyam. She tried to go on stage, but the security guys prevented her from staging. Because I said Ali, for one to be allowed on the stage, he or she must be licensed. And that's why she was denied that chance to step on stage. But Kenyans are trying to twist this story and they are saying that Karen Nyamu was not happy since Samido invited first wife. And they are trying to say that she wanted to fight the first wife, but security guys protected her. That's according to Kenyans. And other Kenyans are saying that Karen Yam has everything, but she is trying to force love from Samido. And Karen Yam has come out this morning and she has clarified to Kenyans that what she was doing, she never knew. She was drunk. Again, she went ahead and said, in the next year, 
She's trying to stop drinking alcohol, but she will not stop laughing. Zamido. That's what she has said. You can watch this video again. That is Karen Nyam. As a leader or someone who is representing people of a nation, you or she must have that respect of the country. What kind of the picture is she trying to give at a country? It's because this is someone who is elected and she is representing Kenyans in the Senate as she was nominated. These people, during the campaigns, they were campaigning very well and they used a church as a tool. It was a weapon for them to win the elections because they used to say that the other side of Azimura Moja, they don't know what. Now, Kenya Kwanza chose to be in the side of the church. Karen was in charge. She has been seen along with the president different occasions in churches, but what she is doing is totally different with what they used to preach during campaigns. Politically, when you sit down and look at this action, this is a way of saying that she will never make a leader in this country. People are watching and many people will keep on reminding uh, the coming generation that this woman used to do A, B, C, D. And that one alone is going to prevent her from getting a position in this country. Now Kenya Kwanza, for them to uncover or to apologize to Kenyans, they need to set a disciplinary committee to look at this matter. We know very well there are so many people who missed chances uh, because the slots were few. For them to take this matter to a disciplinary committee, Kalen Nyamu is likely to be suspended from the Senate. And once that one happens, someone is going to replace that position. We don't know what is going to happen, but let's wait and see what Kenya Kwanza team is going to do. Thank you for watching this video, and that's what I had for the trending video of Karen Yam. Thank you for watching up to the end. Keep on subscribing and supporting this channel. Goodbye.